Right. And those people are now working through organizations such as the Galton Institute, which was formerly known as the Eugenic Society. Marie Stopes uh, left to all her most of her estate to the Eugenic Society, and now the, the uh, Eugenic Society, known as the Galton Institute, um, supports funding for the practical delivery of family planning facilities, especially in developing countries. So in other words, the same organization that once advocated sterilizing black people to achieve racial purity in line with what Hitler and the Nazis wanted are now bankrolling abortions and sterilization in the third world. But the bigger issue is Bill and Melinda Gates, Ted Turner, all of them meeting Warren Buffett in secret, and it comes out mainstream news to curb overpopulation. That's coming up in your phone calls with Paul Watson right here on Genesis. The elite that govern our planet are poisoning our water, our air, and our food. In the words of the Pentagon, possibly the most transforming thing in our force, Defense Secretary Donald A. Rumsfeld said, will not be weapon systems, but a set of interconnections. Headline, U.S. military to install global Internet architecture, giving godlike view of planet. And this article on Infowars.com, it says exactly what I said over the years. The smart dust, the RFID and all products is to give Google, which is really Pentagon front, on record. We've had Mr. Steele, the CIA officer, on to cover it. A three-dimensional system where where you search the internet they search reality and so it's this giant electronic technological control grid and that's what the pentagon calls it as a control grid to straightjacket everybody and they're putting the grid in right now and then they're going to phase out and kill everybody including the troops when they're done with them and then uh, move to a robot military drone control with ai systems run by the elites so it's like terminator but minus the machines running it. And then they're already going to convert the Air Force by 2012 to over half drone. Uh, that means even without humans piloting them, everything's converting right now. Now, what, they'll be successful if we can't face what they're doing and realize a group of humans are waging war against the rest of us. And, and they brag and call it this. You know, you talk about the Galton Society. That was Darwin's, quote, bulldog. This is the new religion. And I'm not debating evolution here. I'm saying out of the evolution movement came these people. They're in control. And uh, Watson continue. I mean, you haven't even gotten into how he says a global police force will CPS everyone's children. They'll break up all the families. I mean, and then now you see him in power today as Obama's science czar. They are implementing the total destruction of society, total federalization, mobile uh, health vans, FEMA camps for everyone's safety. I mean, this is it. Exactly, and a lot of the liberals who support eugenics think that it's okay to be a little bit fascist on this one issue. No. Without realizing the fact that power corrupts absolutely. And if you give government power over the very life cycle of humanity, that would in and of itself create an openly hyper-fascist society. You, do, you can't be a little bit pregnant. If the government can implant devices into people that prevent them from being pregnant, implant them at puberty, and people can only have them removed with government permission when they want to get pregnant, what kind of brave new world hellhole society is that going to create? It's obvious. And yet people... But Paul, you can't even have a radio show now. It's taking carbon. We're shutting you down. They admit... Under the climate bill, it will all be selectively enforced down to the point in England when a university says, we want a grant to go test other water supplies. Somebody's adding hormones that aren't even supposed to be there. They say, sorry, carbon, you're not allowed to leave. <laughs> but, 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 but wait, you have a carbon footprint. Don't criticize it or you'll be arrested. That's carbon denial. I mean, this is the most diabolical plan, Paul. And the point to make about it is that all these same people who were in the population control movement in the 60s and 70s are all now pushing the global warming movement, even though you can go down their predictions line by line, and in every instance, 
the predictions that they made in the 60s and 70s have turned out to be absolutely wrong. Yeah, they said an the ice age. We had to sterilize everybody for the ice age. But see, they know it's a fraud. They brag. They just give us a new religion. They go, these people are religious. Give them a green uh, uh, religion. Meanwhile, with genetic engineering, all the other stuff, and the, and the toxic waste, they're actually hurting the environment. The bottom line is, none of this is being done for the environment. This is being done so these control freaks can control the future, keep the life extension technologies for themselves, and uh, really craft the development and evolution of human society themselves. They don't want the people to be part of that debate. And then they rationalize, hey, the public doesn't care. Thus, that is the evidence that we deserve what we're getting. I haven't even gotten to the stacks of news, and I will do that after Manny Badillo pops in for 15, 20 minutes with some big breaking inside info on 9-11. Then we've got uh, Jim Griffin coming on the last hour. But I literally rolled around in bed last night, even though I was exhausted and working all day, doing the radio show and working on the film, just wanting to try to come on air, explain this to you, be articulate, try to cover all the facets. It's simple. Look into this for yourself, find out it's true, and find out it's all been implemented against us. I mean, cancer's way up, sterilization's way up, infertility's way up. The, the eugenics didn't go away in the 1980s when they were still sterilizing women forcibly through the health department, through the family planning courts. The family courts are eugenics courts set up for that. And this bastard, uh, Obama's uh, science czar, over 90% of technological development in the U.S., the feds fund that, is saying CPS will take people's children. Tell folks about that. Yeah, Holdren's essentially advocating... Uh, the policy in China, which is enforced, I'm talking about the one child policy, obviously. If you have more than one child in China, and if you live in a city, in the rural areas, it's two children. In the city, if you have more than one child, the milder enforcement is by way of crippling taxes. But on the other end of the enforcement, they actually send out government goons who kidnap women off the streets, drag them to abortion clinics, and forcibly abort the baby. Well, he says forced abortion. One of his colleagues, Peter Singer, says kill babies after they're born. He yeah. says parents should be able to kill their children up to one year. And they go, oh, that's very liberal. Murdering babies, oh. And you know, like, you have a one-year-old bouncing on your knee. That's not a human, it's a fetus. Ice pick, ah. I'm sorry, go ahead, Paul. Right winger. Here's his quote from page 837. Quote, indeed, it has been concluded that compulsory population control laws, even including laws requiring compulsory abortion, could be sustained under the existing constitution if the population crisis became sufficiently severe to endanger the society. So he's talking about forced abortion. Now, I'll go back to what I was saying before. All these people who were in the global population reduction movement in the 60s and 70s are all the same faces now pushing the global warming movement. Their predictions have been uniformly wrong. Holdren's co-author of EcoScience said in 1969, quote, I would take even money that England will not exist in the year 2000. He also said, quote, life expectancy of Americans by 1980 would be 42 years of age. Completely wrong. He also said that because of overpopulation creating a food shortage, and this is, this is at the same time that Kissinger and uh, Bush were talking about withholding food from the third world in order to kill them and reduce population. But um, Ehrlich said that because of food shortages, 4 billion people would die from 1980 to 1989. This is the co-author of the book, Withholder It. And Holdren made similar statements. He said that there'd be a massive catastrophe before 2000 and everything would collapse. And Paul, let's be clear, because they were planning to engineer those. He now is the first speech he gave, said we got to control the weather with the chemtrails, describing the exact cocktail recipe that our scientists had said they were already spraying. And he said, yeah, we've been doing tests. That's all just test. We're about to start the real program. And then climatologists look at the program and say it'll actually heat the earth. And then now Bill Gates comes out and says, oh, I want to start geoengineering the planet 
So it's clear they're trying to create droughts and floods, as they said in the State Department Random 200, to stop people from having food, to cause a collapse. They want a collapse. Stay there, Paul Watson. We'll come back, get more into that statement I just made, get your take on that. Run through the rest of your articles and then go to phone calls. I'm Alex Jones, PrisonPlanet.tv is the website. Be sure and check it out.